Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today's stock pick we're going to talk about is TSM. It's one I've been watching here recently and it's had a pretty good little run ever since. And been calling the supports pretty good on it, so I'm going to get back in it today and I'm going to do a little video on it. And I've done a few previous ones and we're also going to be charting with TrendSpider. I'm going to have the affiliate link down below, be the first one that pops up. Missed a good sale on it last week, but you still can get a 16% off deal if you buy the whole package. So let's get right into the stock itself. TSM. It's, I got a little snippet here that we're going to look. It's a semiconductor manufacturing company. Uh, manufactures and sells integrated circuits and semiconductors. It also offers customer service, account management, and engineering service. The company serves customers in computers, communications, consumers, and industrial in the standard segments of North America, Europe, Japan, China, and South Korea. Taiwan Semiconductors Manufacturing Company Limited and founded in 1987 and is headquartered in Taiwan. So I've been really been watching this one. Had some unusual options on it yesterday. So it'd be something you want to look at it if you're an options player. And we're going to go straight into the chart. I'm going to go ahead and pull up a yearly or a weekly first. Been using TrendSpider for a while now for a couple weeks. And I kind of do like it. It, it gives you uh, patterns. If you're like looking for patterns, you can find reversals. You can find candlesticks. I mean, you can find what I've got hooked up right now. Let me see here. I've got the hammers. I like looking for uh, inverted hammers for reversals. I've got shooting star. I've got the morning star. So that's what I'm kind of looking at. And that's what it pulls up. We had an inverted hammer right here. Or we had a hammer right here and then an inverted one right here. Shooting star. And then all of a sudden she started bouncing on up. She had a nice little breakout. Let's look at the hour chart. I'm going to set a few alerts on this and I'm going to draw up a Fibonacci as we go. So we're going to go to the daily. It's had nothing but an uphill climb all the way from down here at 75 bucks. We closed it, I think it was at, a, let me see here. We closed at 111.70 and after hours we're at 114.01. So that's, you know, I think that's back at resistance level. But we had, again, we had the, the shooting star right here, and then we had the hammer. And she's run all up, and this is on the daily. Let's take it to the one hour. I'm going to bunch it up right here. You can see it forms, a little, after every breakout, it forms a little flag for about ten, two weeks, two and a half weeks, and then it breaks out again. So if I was looking for an option, I'd go at least monthly call on this one here. I think we're going to hit 120. So we're going to bring it up to a different time frame. And I'm going to bring it to the 30 minute. Then we're going to draw a little Fibonacci in this channel. And I'm going to go down here to the Fibonacci here on the left. Then we're going to set a few alerts and draw some trend lines. I like to use the body of the candle when I'm drawing these trend lines. So we're going to just go right here to the same thing and go right in here. Then I'm going to magnify it up a little bit more. This is the channel that we, the pivot point area in the Fibonacci channel. So we're definitely 113.88 and we broke past that today. So I'm seeing a 120 on this at least, 120 target. I think pullback support going to be no lower than this 112. 20 right here where we've had some tops we had quite a few tops right in here so that's going to be the that's going to be the, i think the pivot point in the channel but i want to do one more thing i'm going to bring this to one minute and really analyze it real tight we had a nice little pullback for an entry i yelled this out in the room yesterday i said we've had a good pullback you know if you wanted to get in this trade i think we can run this back up to at least the, the high of, that we had that day to 114 and that's what we're showing here after hours we're at 114.01 then 
This is a toss that I use. I also use it. I have the 50 and the 200 on here. SMA. So I always use it as a support level. If you want to throw in that 50, I think I did it on in my trend spider chart. And we'll go back and look at it. Yeah, we got that 200 right here, and that's where it pulled back. It can pull back that 200 and create a real solid support on the daily one minute. And that last one was on the hour, so we're going to go back and look at the hour real fast. And I'm a technical analysis. I like to, you know, I act, I'm more technical than I am a fundamental. It can pull back to the 50, which is right here at 110.07. And that's kind of what I'm seeing right in here. So I'm going to draw a trend line here on the minute. I'm going to go over here to the side, right there where that mark is. And I'm going to draw me a little trend line right here. That's where I think that 109.62 is. Let's put it in red because I think it's solid. Then I'll bring it down one more little spot right down here to where this pulled back to. It's going to be your low support right here at 107.72. If we see it, I don't think we will. If it, unless something real bad happens, but I'm very bullish on this trade. Then I got another one right here at 110.83. These are going to be my three support levels. Go back over here, right there. Then we got a resistance high of 113.67. I want to hit that. Then I got one more down here that I'm going to draw in. I use the Fibonacci's. And I also use my extended trend lines, which I think are a little bit more accurate. But I use that Fibonacci as kind of a center plate. Now we're going to go back here to 30 minute. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We're right down here at the bottom of that channel at 112.07, 112.01. That's going to be the pullback for it for a strong buy. And the resistance that we need to break is going to be the top of this one here at 113.88. And as I said previously, we're at 114 something. So this thing could pull back, could pull back a little bit. And then if I was using my extended trend line method, I would probably go down here right around 112.48 for a support level. And I'm using the, this purplish pink color this year for the 2021 trend lines last year was 2019 and i'm going to still keep the red for the solid supports and hard resistance levels but this year it's going to be this color right here and then i go back i mean been doing the extended trend line method for over 15 years i've charted over a million charts so i go back to these if i still keep them up here you know if it doesn't get too fogged up I can go back three or four years on some of these trend lines, and they're pretty accurate. History always repeats itself. But I think we're going to break this. I'd like it to see it go a little sideways a little bit more this week, but there's a lot of unusual option calls on this right now. And I think, and let me see here. Let's look at a few of them. We're going to pull up a chart. Give me one second here. I trade with Trend Spider, and I do have an options challenge, and my option challenge is up about 50 bucks. So we're going to go out probably a month. Well, let's look at February 15 for right now. See, they're they're fairly reasonable. This would be like a scout play. If I was to go to January 15, I said February, and I might take these 115 calls, but maybe even get up here in the money. And try to get up here right around this one right here, right around 112 or 111, and scalp that trade right there. Or I'll go down here and go a little farther out. Let me see here. Right around February 19, and hit that 120 call. That's probably what I would do right there. Maybe that 120 or this 115. It'd be, I don't know, probably be better if you went with the 115. Because that 51% delta, right there at five bucks. But it's going to open up higher than that. So I'd wait for the pullback and buy at support. 
Remember that I'm going to go ahead and pull up that trend spider chart again, show you where support is. It's right here at 112. It's the bottom of that channel. And there are little pivot point areas somewhere in here. We'll probably find it on that. Let me see if I can find this here. Yeah, that 112.48 area. That would be your little pivot point inside that channel. So 112 strong buy. Resistance to break is a 113.88. Take this to 115 and 120 in about a month or sooner. And that's going to be TSM. Always remember we're affiliate of TrendSpider. That link will be down below if you want to sign up and get that 16% off. Every once in a while they'll throw out a good deal, but this is a real neat platform and I really like using it. And let's go ahead and set an alert up on this real fast. I want to go ahead and set an alert right here at 112. So I right click it, create an alert on this line. I want it to touch it. Then I want my sensitivity bar to be about right in here so when it hits it, it'll go ahead and create the alert. Then I'm going to go ahead and say in the note, I'm going to say strong buy. And I'll be alerted right here when that thing touches down right there at that 112 area. See that little sensitivity bar? That A lot of times it might not hit that 112 but it'll come very close and that way I'll still be able to get into the trade and follow it on up. Everybody have a great day. Always remember I love stocks. We have a Twitter link over here where you can sign up to our Twitter page where Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here at all times. We also have our stock twits. Both of ours, mine and hers is right here. Please follow me. I'd appreciate that. I'm up to 31, 3,100 followers, a little bit more. And I post my videos in here too. Please subscribe, ring that bell for future updates. I love stocks. Where are you, baby?